Hey guys, welcome back to HS Code Hub. Our today's agenda is Einstein for Salesforce developers. So you can utilize it right from your VS Code. All right, so today I will show you how you can do that. Before showing that, I will just give a quick overview of the Einstein for Salesforce developers. Code generation has many benefits such as consistency, rapid prototyping, reduced code complexity. All right, you can see here you can uh, like comment and type then it will auto suggest the code so it's actually kind of reminding me about the github copilot that was also really smart okay but since this one the einstein one is from salesforce itself so we can expect it to be better than the github one if we go below we can see static and dynamic apex analysis with skill center and lots of things all right so you can definitely check the features from this link i will put it in the description so now let's see the main thing of our today's video i will be showing now how we can enable it okay and how we can write some codes using the einstein for salesforce developers first of all i have opened uh, trailhead.org so if you don't see the feature let me show which features firstly we have to go to the setup from setup we have to search for dev just search dev and you'll get the Einstein for developers. So if you don't see it, you may need a new org. You can get a new org. Maybe your release of the Salesforce org doesn't support the Einstein for developers yet. That can also happen. So just know that. So I'll just double click it. And you see, enable Einstein for developers. I have to enable it. And here's some terms and conditions. You can check those out and accept. Okay, I have successfully enabled it and I have to go back to the VS Code. If, okay, in VS Code now we have to go to the extensions and from here we have to search for Einstein. Here you can see Einstein for developers preview version. We have to hit the install button and it will be installed. So you'll be able to see the Einstein sidebar in the left also the Einstein toggle button on the left bottom. All right. So if you face any issues or if you don't see the sidebar or the toggle button on the bottom, then all you have to do is just restart the VS code. Then it should fix the issue. Okay. Now we have the Einstein for developers installed. We can see the sidebar is here. Also in the left bottom, we have the Einstein for developer extension toggle button. So I'll just go ahead and write something in the sidebar. For example, write me an Apex class that retrieves the number of contact records associated to an account and hit ask. I'll make it bigger for the better visibility. See, it's actually giving me the count of the contacts which are associated with the past account ID. So in ChatGPT, you might have noticed that it tracks the previous responses, but this is not the same case for the Einstein for developers, which is a bit like disappointing, I might say. So if I go ahead and write before going to write, I'll just copy it. If I go ahead and write now, write test class for this, just like that. If I hit this just like that in the ChatGPT, it works. It will just take this the previous response as the consideration and it will write the test class but in the einstein for developers it doesn't work in that way okay so it might be a bit inconvenient to us see it already moved to something random product trigger test insert product test upsell flag lots of stuffs going on here i don't know what's going on but yeah it just generated something as it thought okay so to maintain the previous response, we have to manually copy the previous code. I have already copied it and I will now ask, write me test class for this. Hit ask. <coughs> okay, now it's working. See, contact count test is test. Also, it's taking the test dot start test test dot stop test also maintaining the best practice system dot hazard equals okay this is still in beta the code will not be 100 percent right all of the time or won't be optimized 100 percent okay but my impression for the einstein for developers are nothing but positive and hopefully it will be like better day by day until then we can test it out we can utilize it 
into our day to day life of coding in Salesforce and so on. All right. Okay. Let me know what you guys think about this or let me know some suggestions or stuffs or anything you want to share about this video and I will meet you at the next video. Till then, take care. Goodbye.